Hi, my name is David and we're going to run through how to use speed in PowerDirector 7. First of all, we're going to clip on, click on a clip, click on the speed button, which brings up the working window in PowerDirector 7 for video speed options. Hi, we've got the video speed options working area open now. We'll quickly run through the various things that we see here. Uh, we've got the original video length. Okay, so we've got 2 minutes, 50 seconds and 17 frames. It corresponds with the new length with video length here at the moment. That's because we haven't made any changes. You've got a little player here which will play the video but won't move the player uh, in the preview section or in the timeline. All right, so it's an independent little player quite useful to have. Um, stretch mode, that is maximized of only to be two times faster or down to half the speed. So if we move the slider to the left we go down to 0.5, if we go up to the right we increase it twice the speed. All right, if we put back in the middle we're at normal, normal length. All right? And at the same time as I was making those changes you should note that the the uh, new video length also changed. So let's just quick draw your attention to that. Okay, see the changes? See the changes again. So in actual fact it's uh, there are a number of areas you look out for when you're changing, uh, making those changes in speed. Right then, let's go to the full screen now and we'll take our options on stretch and mute. Oh yeah, one other thing about mute. Mute, if you click on the mute button it removes the audio, but in so doing you increase your capability to make adjustments. You can actually make your clip that much smaller, down to ten times smaller, or one tenth the size, or ten times slower, you could say, if you move it to the left. Right, let's put it back in the middle. Another way to change the length of your video, simply by changing the counter just here, we'll put it down to zero, click the keyboard, Highlight and click the keyboard, remember that? Put it down to zero there, we've got an air, and we make the clip two minutes long. Very simple, very easy way of doing it. No need to touch the, ch the uh, slider at all, accurately make a certain length to your video. Click the reset button to return it back to normal. Easy, isn't it? Okay, we're back in the full window and you can see the, the clip in the timeline that we've been playing with. We can play it here. There's no movement on the slider. There's no uh, in the timeline. There's no movement on the slider here on the right-hand side. We can set the video length to exactly two minutes. Do you see how easy that was? Just click on it. Click a keyboard. Click on it. Click the keyboard. The video down the bottom here will change. There you go. It does take a couple of seconds. It's not as instant as with a slider. Notice the slider position moves. That's it. That's how you use speed. Isn't it brilliant? And a lovely tool to use.